Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. The low frequencies in our room are always a problem, right? The dimensions of our room won't allow for the energy to uh, fit. And then we have reflections all the time. So we have pressure and reflections are the two issues that we have to work with. So I like to tune, my, tune our room so that there's definition and separation in those low frequencies. And bass guitar and kick drum are two of the lowest frequency producing instruments uh, that I can think of next to a gong. So bass guitar around 30 cycles, kick 50 to 80, right in that frequency range. So those two frequency ranges, let's call it 30 to 80, we really you know, need to focus on to get the kick and the bass guitar to sound good. So you can see that the octave bands are really tightly together. And in small rooms, that just compounds the problem because the dimensions of the, en of the room and the energy aren't compatible at all. So you're going to get modal issues and all kinds of problems. <coughs> Excuse me. Both instruments have frequency played at the same time. So you get this overlap. Listen to your favorite music that has bass and kick. And see if you can tell the difference between the two. It's really difficult if your room is not, you know, of that resolution to get that kind of separation and definition. You can't tell one from the other. And you need that separation and definition for those two because I know there's lots of issues uh, and, and thinking about bass and drums. You know, people say, well, drums are the engine of the band. They drive the band. Other people say, well, it's the bass guitar that kind of drives the band. So it doesn't really matter. They're both low frequency producing devices. They're both in the game, so to speak, at the same time. They're both in a very low frequency range. So the room has to deal with this and the room has to be treated correctly that you get that kind of definition. So we, when we voice our rooms, we focus on the bass guitar first because that's the instrument that a lot of energy is going to be played and a lot of notes are going to be played. The kick, you know, it's just really doom, 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 keeping time with everything. So, but the bass guitar, you know, there, there's, there's music there, there's scales that are played. So there's a lot of notes and that's what we're after. We're after the definition of the notes. That's what we want. We want the attack, we want the decay, we want to be able to hear you know, all of those things. Uh, a good um, example of bass guitar is uh, the Greg Allman Friends album, uh, Whipping Post. At the very end, there's a song called Whipping Post, a famous song that the Allman brothers have played for years. And there's a great interaction between the guitar player and the bass player in Whipping Post, about three quarters of the way in. Check that out and see if your room can handle that. So we want to focus on the bass guitar's definition. That's our goal. You know, trying to focus on the kick and the bass in the same time is good, but if we pick one instrument and focus on it. The front of the house, the low frequency absorption area is the most critical because that's where the speakers are. They generate the energy and they're also close to the front wall boundary surface. So that's going to create some problems. Strong sidewall treatment is also good. If we can manage the pressure, you know, here's our speakers, here's our listening position. If we can manage this pressure dome, so to speak, we can get good definition and separation in the low end. So it's a series of units here, it's a series of units here, and it's a series of units here. The back, we can work on that later. But if we focus on these three areas, we're, we're going to be in good shape. Diaphragmatic is the most powerful of the three low frequency absorbers, bar none. It, if you look at the way the technology is designed and built and the formulas behind the physics, you can understand why. Okay, that's important. So diaphragmatic is the most important, most powerful of all. And our carbon technology inside a diaphragmatic absorber, remember a perforated absorber inside a diaphragmatic, gets you the best results. You must go low and get a lot. You have to. It's just the way it is with low frequency. You have a small box with lots of energy in it. So you need a lot of sponges in there to soak that energy up. 
So you can get the definition and separation on the low end that you want. Look at the performance of our 10s and 12s. The 12 is really our most powerful unit, 30 to 50, most powerful unit of all. You can see the absorption coefficients there in the graph. Huge, 100% at 50, 63% at 40. I mean, that's really big if you think about it. Compare that to other companies' performance, you won't even you know, see a, a closeness at all there. And most of the products out there are boxes filled with building insulation. So you get what you pay for. I mean, that's a, the easiest way to say it. So look at the performance of our 10 and 12 and our carbon panel. I designed the carbon panel to start at 40 because a lot of people can't give up 16 inches, which the 10 and 12 take in depth. I get it. That's almost three feet because you need it on both walls. So the carbon panel starts at 40. Most people are happy with 40 cycles as a start point for their absorption technology. And you only have to give up 12 inches for that. Four inches is a lot. That's eight inches per side per dimension because you got to treat all, all the dimensions. So it can be a lot, especially in these small rooms. So when we get our rooms going and get them tuned and get them designed, I always use the bass guitar as my um, voicing instrument, so to speak, just like we use male voice for center image on two channel setups. Uh, male mono voice is, is the best for that situation. So bass, kick drum voicing. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.